Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about the Marvel Legends Ghost Rider. This is the new Danny Ketch Ghost Rider uh, as seen in many places because everybody gets Danny and, and Johnny confused. But this is actually Danny Ketch. Danny Ketch is by He's everyone's 90s Ghost Rider that we are all above and beyond used to. And you know, your boy Johnny is back. But now both brothers are back because, you know, it's 2024. Why not have both? So let's get started. Let's get talking about it. First things first, let's go over our body excuse me, in our new sculpt. So we have this new torso and we have the spike jacket properly for, for Danny, right? We have that pinless tech. We don't have these loose gauntlets. They're actually like molded and sculpted in and they look beautiful. We have the proper gray pants. We have the asymmetrical design on the gauntlet. I'm sorry, not on the gauntlet, but on the wrist, uh, sorry, on the back fist of the fist. And then the, the bootleg gauntlet here. We do have a boot swivel, which is very nice. The pinless text look beautiful on him. And it's one of those things where I'm having a good time with all of the new crazy stuff. Now, the one thing I do think is that we actually get a little bit less of a neck articulation here, but we still get that nice jaw movement. We can actually rotate around. I do like, and this is probably my favorite part, that the eyes are now painted in like a swirly flame. I don't know if we can get a nice zoom in our nose. Let me see. Yeah, look at that little crazy spectral like zoom in but yeah man like this is really nice to see on danny like a nice when the light like pops through this it'll either it's going to hide it or it's going to show really well with proper lighting which is going to be utterly beautiful now outside of all of that though you know you can just stand in marvel legends body i don't think there's going to be anything crazy about it but the pinless tech does make it look good i do wish there was a small butterfly joint that would allow it to look and sit a little better on his bike but as you can see we can still hit a t-pose we still have our beautiful double articulation the leg can reach 90 degrees the pinless tech looks really good and again if you're talking about like ab crunch and looking forward i think it's going to work out pretty well for him on the bike i feel like being huddled on there is not going to be an issue uh as far as the feet go we have backwards movement we have our generous ankle pivot like it's not even an issue you're probably going to lose a little bit going forward because of the boot design but that's at best what you'll get now the real bread and butter of this what everybody wants to know is what that bike do though and now we're going to find out as you see we have our these will not come into it like you actually got to plug these in and what's really cool is you can actually move it if you want you can move it here right so if you want to just move it there on the bike you can or you can dip it to move forward towards the front of the bike so you do have options wheels go vroom vroom right semi-translucent so when you poke some light through it it's gonna look really good let's actually take a look right now yeah see looking really good when you poke some light through it uh you can actually shift this around it actually has a way to shift around because you know he actually used his bike as an as a battering ram as well right so you can actually shift it a little lower so the handlebars sit and look a little higher but they don't actually move but it just looks that way as it'll cover the front of the bike or you can shift it up to have a little bit of room for your bike it all depends on what you want but let's shift it down let's take a look at him on his said bike do 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 i actually like the the pedal still going forward because like that hunched over look looks really good but as you can see here if you just sit him straight up he can sit straight on the bike then if you position those legs down it's just equally as good now in terms of accessories this is where it gets uh fun because you're going to get your same normal standard ghost rider accessories how you pair them up with flames and things like that are going to be what really matter so you will get right let me position him very nicely so stand <laughs> so you will get handlebar holding hands that's actually pretty important as you know they're asymmetrical because we have the spike design which is cool if you want to give your opponent a back fist i do like that they are slightly different to look like they actually are bikers hands to be able to hold the brake or the throttle when he needs. They are on uh, horizontal pegs. Although, yeah, they're on horizontal pegs. Then you will get a Hellfire chain. These hands can hold the Hellfire chain with no issue. Right? Voila. You also get, and these are all things like these guys have shown before. I'm assuming you guys are only here for the pretty pictures, which makes sense. I'm just going to talk about the same. You will get these flame effects that sit underneath your bike, which look utterly fantastic, right? 
So yeah, these will look good on your bike. Let me actually get a little bit of focus on there. There we go. My hands are not free. So as you can see here, you can leave your bike trail if you want, have it look really cool. But also what's really important here that you, for the first time ever, you get like a cool bike stand, right? It fits right underneath. And boom, now you can like pop wheelies. I think that's actually pretty cool. That she actually thought like, hey, let's give them a little action stand for their bike. So when they want to pop wheelies, they can pop wheelies. And I think that's really cool. But yeah, that about sums up all the things he comes with and things like that. So I guess we'll jump into our size comparison as we compare the 80 million other Ghost Riders that we have. <laughs> so let's get to it. All right, now we're gonna get into the size comparison. This is where it gets a little tricky because I'm gonna compare both figures and bikes. So pretty funny. Here we are with the two brothers. And then, like I said, it's crazy because he's so much bigger than Danny. But I guess you can make it work. I just chose this version. There's literally like three other versions of the same figure, but I just chose this one. But as you can see, the heads are similar, but this one actually does have the better paint job. So again, pretty cool. You can take, mix and match, swap things up, make it work for you, I guess, with your Ghost Riders. And then here we are with an old classic the Toy Biz Vengeance. I threw him in because with Vengeance, right? I'm like, ah. In the comic book, he was just in a recent story and I really feel like he's gonna come back in the comics and make a big splash. So the two brothers versus Vengeance would be pretty cool. This old Toy Biz figure, it actually looks pretty decent next to them, but you can tell, it's, whoa. <laughs> you can tell it's a little bit dated, but <clears throat> it's one of those things I'm like, all right, cool. So let me move the bike around because I'm gonna revisit that as he knocks the boys down, all right? Let's put my boy Danny back. And then we're going to compare to the Johnny Mezco, right? A little bit bigger, different. But what's crazy is that this one has little to no articulation. It's just in the neck, I mean, as it can only go left and right. It can look up and down. But I really want to find an alternative scope for that because I actually really, really like this figure. And it sucks that we can't, like, get that. Oh, I actually forgot to grab the Mezco bike. So I'm going to take a quick pause. But let us compare to some other figures. Like, here is a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. In case you want to do some more Marvel Knights stuff, right? Here we are with a Punisher. As you know, I just recently did the Heroes for Hire video. I don't know which order these are going to go out in, but now you'll know that I've done it, <laughs> right? And then what else can we use? Oh, here's my main man, Daredevil. So you can get a feeling for what you're going on with. And if you want to compare it to a G.I. Joe, here is Quick Kick, right? So Danny may be a little bit smaller, whereas Johnny was actually pretty gigantic. It's pretty cool to see it the way it is. But before we round out the rest of this and compare it to bikes, I'm going to go grab the Mezco one. Let's take a quick pause. All right, we're back at it. So let's actually move this guy off to the side, right? So here is our Mezco bike. And I'm not really comparing it for price. I'm comparing it for size in case you want to mix and match your Ghost Riders. Here we are with Johnny's bike, right? Then we are here with a different version of Johnny's bike right that rc one and then last but not least here you go with our modern bike right so it's crazy because we have all these bikes now i'm going to remove the rc one because it's pretty much the largest one like we can see that easily then here we are with danny's bike and i feel like the two brothers actually are in a good spot with each other on bikes no matter which version it is as we compare them let's actually stack them on top right you can see those two look pretty good together. So the brothers will look good together side by side for bike shots. Especially when you do like the Heavens on Fire storyline stuff. Then even if you wanted to compare like the Roadhog version. So yeah. Like I said, I think we're in a good place with, with all, all the stuff that we're getting. We should be pleased like with all the different variations. I know people like the Streamlining Collection. So there's a different bunch of different choices. But again... I hope that people are happy with it. I hope we get more Marvel horror and supernatural coming soon. I know we have that Strange Tales wave. Very excited for that. Very, very, very excited for that. Um, and the reason why is because now all the Dracula memes can be all over the internet. I'm here for it. <laughs> so, yeah. In the meantime, I, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. As we know that I very rarely like would do like three or four Marvel Legends video in a row. So, yeah. I'm very happy with that. So, I'm pleased myself. So, Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking things out. Thank you for having a good time. Hopefully you've had a good time. Uh, you've chuckled, you've smiled, you've been informed and entertained. So yeah, as always, be good to yourself, be good to others. And as always, be good, do good. Drink your water, guys. Later.
bonus content in case you're curious the bone hand content from the uh, the retro card at ghost rider does work on him so yeah it works it works so now you can enjoy that too later